Hey guys, it's Josh here from Create Studio, and I'm super excited to share with you our latest update inside our software. So as you would have seen, we've added the ability to animate text layers by word, by letters, and you can also add some really cool effects in there as well. So let me show you how that all works. So I'm gonna go and add a text layer and just make this text black. And I'm just gonna type in what can you create like this. And I'll just center that text like so. Cool. So what you can do is either add motion presets or custom animations. I'm gonna go with motion presets to start with and just show you this. So let's go with um, backslide top like this. And you'll have to see when I play this through that we've got the text animating as one complete layer, okay? So if we go over to the settings option over here, and click on words, you can now see that our text layer animates in separately by each word. And the same thing you can go through and select letters as well. And you'll be able to see now that the, the text layer animates by separate letters. So let's go and adjust this. Let's go maybe make it about 40 or so. Um, and you can adjust obviously the animation so over here. So where it starts from, where it ends. Um, and you've got a whole bunch of other animation options. Let's go with reverse for example. And now you can see that it animates from the right to the left. And if we go with random like this, you'll be able to see that it animates randomly like that. So you can really create amazing and unique custom animations just by simply adjusting these different properties down here, okay? So again, you can do the same thing with the out animations. You can go with, I'm just gonna go to my favorites and go to this one here, back rotate and slide bottom. And what I'm gonna do with this one is go with letters and I'm gonna go with random and just bring this up a lot like that. And let's have a look at this. So you can see they all kind of fall down, like the kind of shattering looks really, really cool. Like that. Okay, so you can do the same thing again also with custom animation. So if I go with over here and just add a custom animation um, and let's go with position, let's go with scale, rotation. You can add as many different properties as you like, text spacing as well. Um, and what I'm gonna do is first just bring this off like that um, and then just center this like so, so that it slides up like that. I might also wanna rotate that at the start. So let's just rotate this a little bit like that and just bring it down a bit more. There, so it kind of rotates on and then comes straight like that. And the cool thing with custom animations is that you can control the easing. So this can add a whole variety of different kind of animations and motion for your animations. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, make this to words for now, like this. And you'll see that when this comes up like this, it animates nicely like that. But if I go through and adjust the easing, let's say I wanna go with back for example, you can see it kind of bounces. If I go with elastic, like so. You can see it kind of bounces like that. So what I'm gonna do is go with back and I'm also gonna adjust this to letters. And let's just see what that looks like. It looks really cool. If I wanted to create this more of an arc, I could go with the elastic one and I could just adjust the duration because it comes quite fast. And let's just preview that. And it looks really, really nice. So those are the main options you have currently with the text animations, and you can really create a whole bunch of really cool effects and animations for your text really, really quickly. Um, what we've also done is added the ability to rotate colors. So let's just go and grab this transition, and I'm just gonna center that like so. And you see we've got this transition, which is this orangey color. If I go to advanced now, you're about to see we've got the option to rotate color. So I can just go through and adjust this, and you can quickly change up the colors of any media. So whether it be an image or a video, you can basically apply these filters on top to change the colors of your content like that. And we've also added in some additional easing presets you've obviously done here. We've got sign, expo, back, a uh, rough inertia bounce. We've got different types of easing presets you can check out over here as well to add onto your animation. So I hope you enjoy this update. If you like it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you can leave a review either on Captera or Trustpilot or even on a Facebook page, that would be a massive help for us and yeah hope you enjoy this update and have a great day